here at the Ventura Improv Company. Uh, if you want to check out all the cool events, uh, go to VenturaImprov.com. Say that with me. VenturaImprov.com. You have written a book, number five. What uh, book has number five written uh, about? It's a self-help book. Self-help book. And you are interviewing him. This is your show. Uh, uh, and you're questioning him about his book and such. So you're welcoming him on the show. And we have an interpreter here for those who are uh, hard of hearing. Um, don't worry about it. Uh, Matt has taken some classes over Ventura College, so he knows what he's doing. All right, here we go. Hey, welcome back to the Chester self-help book today. Welcome to the show, John. Thank you, Chester, for inviting me. Yeah, why don't you give us a quick little uh, summary of your self-help book. Well, the book is called Healing Through Flight, and it talks about <laughs> overcoming <laughs> your native fears by getting on airplanes <laughs> and being frisked by the TSA. <laughs> is to, to confront your fear and run immediately to the danger and just, just face it head on. As with everything in life, you must face the danger wholeheartedly. You must lay down in the mud, if need be, to confront the danger that you face every day. Now, I was reading in chapter 3, your chapter about uh, electroshock therapy. Yes, yes, that's a, that was a difficult chapter to write because electric typewriters are so out of vogue now. But once I found that you could connect the, the, the outlet to your toes, then what would happen is you can liberate your mind. Yes, that's an excellent point, yes. Um, so you wrote this book primarily to help out uh, teenagers, is that correct? Teenagers and teenage mothers as well. Because <laughs> we know that there are a lot of people in this world who struggle with the idea of the pain of childbirth. But we want to help the teenagers understand that it's <laughs> That's right. Because someday those teenagers will be caring for us. And it's important that they provide, the, they, we give them the best understanding. It's important that they grow up from a very young age to be very strong and confident. Strong and confident. And able to work firearms. Absolutely, yes. I know, that didn't seem to well, make sense, yeah. but that's part of self-help, is you have to think outside the box, and you have to, you have to understand the importance. Now, you know, in, in the research of this book, I had to actually go out into the woods and face a crocodile. It was in the Everglades. And it was because of that experience that I was able to finally get the courage to come on your show, Chester. Wow, and an alligator helps you out with that? Absolutely, wow. absolutely. Astonishing. If you can face all those teeth, you can face one simple camera. <laughs> Do we have time for questions? From, I, I love the questions from the audience. Sure, let's do sure. it. Let's go ahead and get a question from the audience. Uh, right here in front, sir. Hey. Um, I'm having problems going outside Oh, I, what, what do you have for me? <laughs> Something, I'm having a lot of problems going outside. Do you have anything that you could recommend uh, with, with flights uh, for me getting out of the house and not being a shut-in? Absolutely, absolutely. Agoraphobia is a very common problem, but agoraphobia. Um, agoraphobia, but what you can do is you can enclose yourself in the <laughs> In reality, you're outside. Right. And then the next part is to simply get on that airplane and fly. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for the audience for the career question. I'm going to give you a free copy of this book. Woo!